Hello, welcome to another Film My Run tech review. Today, we're talking about headphones. I know a lot of you love to wear headphones. You've got to have your music when you're out running, but we also know there are specific rules here in the UK about wearing headphones in races, particularly in road races. You're not allowed to do that. So what's the option? Well, one thing that is allowed are bone conducting headphones, and that's what we're reviewing today. We are reviewing the Aftershocks Trex Air headphones. Let me turn them around so you can see the back of the box as well. That's what they look like and I'm wearing them as well. I generally, when I'm running outside, I don't normally wear headphones. I'm quite happy to listen to the sound of the birds or the traffic. Um, but when I'm indoors, when I'm running on Zwift, I always wear headphones and it's always a constant problem for me when I'm wearing in-ear headphones with sweat dripping off me. I get this bubbling effect in my ears where the, my sweat gets in my ears and the headphones are in my ears and it all gets a bit yuck. Um, and I can't hear the music properly um, and it gets a bit uncomfortable. So it's always a bit of a problem wearing in-ear headphones when running on the treadmill. I don't know if you find that outside, when you're running outside, whether the sweat gets in your ears, whether it gets uncomfortable to wear headphones, but these bone conducting headphones from Aftershocks solve a number of problems. So let's get into it. So let's talk about the basics first of all. Um, they're relatively light headphones. Uh, they don't have a loose strap. It's a, it's a firm band around the back of the head and they fit over the head like this. So the band is at the back here and they don't go into your ears. They rest on your cheekbones just here. So not in your ears over the cheekbone, so none of your ear is covered. That's a really important part because that's what will make you comply with UK athletics rules. There's a little triangular button on the side here. It's called the multi-function button. Pressing that button will do things like answering calls or changing the EQ settings, things like that. Underneath there is also the volume buttons, volume down, volume up, and the up button is also the on-off button and the pairing button. Um, and next to that is your port for a USB charging cable. You get reportedly about six hours of continuous music playback on the Trex Airs. I've not used them for a full six hours straight, but I've probably used them for six hours on and off, and I've never had a problem with the battery running out on me unexpectedly. They are IP55 rated, which means that you can sweat on them, you can spray water on them, they'll work in the rain and they won't break. Don't go going swimming in them though, because that will not work. The Trex Airs do have noise cancelling technology built into them, so when you make a phone call that should ensure that you have a, a clear phone call without any distracting background noise. And there's also uh, Audrey who speaks to you on the headphones, so when you turn the headphones on and off or when you change any functions, Audrey will tell you what you're doing, which is quite nice to hear. So let's get into a few things I really like about these Trex Airs. First of all, the fit. They are odd when you first put them on, because if you've never worn bone conducting headphones at all, then it, it does feel a bit strange to have the main part of the headphones sitting on your cheekbones. But once you get used to that, actually, they're much more comfortable than real headphones. Like I said before, when you wear real headphones and they're in your ears, when you're running, you sweat, it's just all uncomfortable and, and weird. These completely negate that. So they rest over your ears and the band goes around the back. There is a gap at the back between the band and your neck, so it's not rubbing on your neck, but it doesn't move about. It doesn't feel like that's gonna fall off or, or lose position at all. The other thing I really like, the sound quality. Sound quality is really good. Again, if you've never worn bone conducting headphones before, initially it's a little odd to get used to. The sound isn't coming from right in your ears, but it is there and it is crystal clear. The other thing I really like is the ease of use. I don't have to fiddle with an app to get what I want out of the headphones. On, off at the side, it's really easy to feel where that button is. Press it to turn off, press it to turn on. Hold a little bit longer to pair with your phone or your computer. Press this button on the side, it's really easy to feel. It's a triangle, it's there. Press it to answer a call or to carry out any other functions that I need to do. They're dead easy. I have other pairs of headphones which are quite complex to use, lots of tiny fiddly buttons. I've got to go through an app to get all the settings that I want sorted out. These just work. Now let's get on to the negatives. Honestly, 
there aren't really many negatives. I've got one problem with these headphones, which actually may just be specific to me. They aren't quite loud enough for me. I mean, I'm used to kind of blasting out music really loud in my ears. You're not gonna get that with the Trex, or at least I don't. Oddly enough, I gave these to my wife, she put them on and she wanted to turn them down. She said they're too loud. So perhaps this is just me. But for me, they are slightly too quiet. I could just do with them being a little bit louder. And I guess along with the volume thing, that means there's a slight lack of bass for me. But again, it was the opposite for my wife when she wore them. She said they were too bassy and too loud. So she had to turn them down. So it may be that I'm going deaf in my old age. I don't know. But that really is the only thing that I could complain about about the Aftershock Trex Airs. So if you want a pair of headphones which will allow you to run on the roads of anywhere in the world, but particularly in the UK where we have these rules about wearing headphones, and some race directors in lots of other countries also don't allow in-ear headphones or over-the-ear headphones when you're running, particularly because they want to make sure that you are safe when you're running, then a pair of bone-conducting headphones, these Aftershocks Trex Airs will do you absolutely fine. They will be perfect for running outdoors on the roads. But you can also use them on the treadmill in here. I use them all the time when I'm running on Zwift. I definitely recommend them. If you want to pair yourself and you want 10% off, use my discount code below. It'll give you 10% off a pair of Aftershocks Trex Airs. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you for another Film My Run Tech Review very soon. Bye-bye.